guys, I'm back. I just wanted to make a quick force hop plugin for you guys so you can see exactly on how it's done. Okay, so let's open up Eclipse. I've just copied that. Alright. As this loads up, enter in that as it loads up. It's been nice and quick and simple. As this loads up, let me think of a name. Or I could just go with my old fashioned name, Ram Booster. Fun with that, I use. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see. What will we be doing with this? Okay. Just thinking what we should do. Oh, I'm going to make it so once we join the server, we're going to get up. So if that'll open. There we go. Okay. New Java project. As normal. Squeaky chair, shut up. Uh, project's name. Oh, that's not that's not the project's name. No, not the plus sign. Ram booster. Ram booster 2.0. All right. Now we're gonna just add some stuff into it. Uh, build path HTTP slash dash ci dot bucket. Org. Okay, so now it'll update. Let's hit apply, make sure that's all working. Libraries. In here, external jars. External jars. Wait for my processor to work. I hope I don't get any Skype calls through this. Downloads. Uh, somewhere where there's all these plugins, craft. Look at 1.9. Okay, it's lovely. Shut up, Norton. I don't even like you. Okay, new pro, uh, bleh, new package, I should say. Uh, and I believe this is where you put it. Me dot semioc99 or your name, your Minecraft name or whatever, whatever your tag is. If that made any sense. <laughs> uh, dot Ram Booster, capital B. Ram Booster. Uh, new class. And then this is pretty important. You need to call it main with a capital M. Main, as it loads up maybe. There we go. Okay. Extend, extends, yeah, extends Java. That. Yeah, that Java plugin. I just thought I screwed up there. No, I didn't. Okay. Hover over that, import it. Import, I should say. Spam that a bit. Okay. Now we've got to make public voids. Oh boy. Fun. Uh, go right here. Second line. Public void. Ah, uh, let's see. On enable. Right. Okay. Uh, get logger. I'm just trying to remember all this. Get logger. Dot info. As you can see, it's starting to pop up there. Enable. No. Right here. Just sticker. Quotation marks there. Uh, Needle deal, no, not that. <laughs> Boy, this is not working as planned. Okay. Put enabled. And just copy this. Uh, not that. How about just the public void, maybe? <laughs> okay. Two spaces down. Just change enable to disable. 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 Duh. No? Disable? Maybe. Yeah, disable. That, that's right. Just thinking. Just getting a bit too little. Okay. So we just need to change this to disable. Uh, disable. Okay, now we have to do the fun coding part. Oh boy, my favorite. Okay, so let me just move that on the other screen over down. Okay, so we just need to write up the public void. 
Uh, sorry, not the public void. Public bullying? Oh boy. That's my niece screaming. Public uh, bullying. Is that gonna. Whatever. Fuck it. On command. By the way, this uh, will be in the description below if you're just wondering. Yep. That'll be in the description below. Command. Sender. Center. Comma. Command. CMD. Comma. I think it's string args or something. Whatever it is. Let me just move that over there. Other side of the screen where you can't see things. Okay. String. Okay. Command. Label. So I try and see that. I can't. Uh, string. Is that string? String. Let's get some string in here. Uh, close the brackets. Open and close. Args. And that's nearly done. I just need to go. Then just import these. Simple. You want to import? Hmm. Say bucket commands. That's pretty important, maybe. Now, it probably won't do anything because it needs a return statement, and we better add that in as fast as possible. Okay, so then we just come over here, put in a few spaces down there, so we have that. Now we just need to get that up, like that. Okay, so now we've got some space here. So now let's start with the actual coding, which is my favorite part, okay. So, if, start with the old if statements. If, no, sender, I believe that's correct, maybe. Sender, in. Okay, player. Capital P for player, apparently. Close that. That's not what. Then import that, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Okay, so now that's all fine. Let's run if statement down. Uh, next one. Mm. Okay, so this is if you want to automatically join the server and make yourself op. Like you'll automatically be up once you join the server. So on how you do that, you if uh, player, so capital B no player dot get name dot equals equal that doesn't there's a you, you missing equals Ignore case. Then that's where you put your uh, name. And then for some reason, maybe it's a capital P with that. Hmm, let me just see over here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I know what. Why? We need to. Let me just copy this. Don't worry. Nothing too bad, we just, uh, just did that. Okay. Okay. Like that. Hopefully that'll work. He says with a lot of doubt. Okay. Now, lowercase that should be fine. Alright, there we go. Make that a bit more roomy. Has some room. Okay, so in here you want to type sender to make yourself op, pretty much. Sender dot set capitalize O for op. Uh, then Boolean moment. Uh, true. And we'll end that.
and that should make you up oh, but you need to write in your minecraft username so we'll do that right now uh, i usually have this set up to like oh i th think that was no right booster is still loading i don't know who downloaded something but anyway it was probably someone trying to download one of my Forsop plugins, I'm pretty sure. That was just on Skype, so that's all fine. Uh, that one. The other screen. Okay. And that's pretty much it for that. That's just for one username. If you want to keep doing multiple usernames, just keep adding that. And then this is where my favourite part comes in. Like, even more favourite. Uh, let's see, scroll down. Here we are. Okay. So here we want to add things like a command. So we go if uh, cmd dot get name, and this will be the command's name, not not the player's. So don't get too confused. Dot uh, ignore case, like ignore case. All that again. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. To try and edit out. Um, no case. Uh, where is it to go? I'm sorry, I lost track. God damn it, my friends. Equals ignore case. Ignore case. Okay. And we would end that there. Maybe. No, actually, don't do that. There we go. Okay, now this is the command. I like to do whatever the command name is, like uh, ram booster, ram booster, like that, like that. And uh, yeah, so RB. And what I like to do is set this up so we have a lot of fun with it. We can go string. string then uh, I'm gonna put this as x1 because it would be uh, one command one lot of commands if that made any sense Ugh, if that made any sense okay equals then this is where we want to put in the right command put that there okay then we want to put this as pex so I want to set myself at once I do this command I would like to set myself as owner, so uh, I will be doing pex and group manager. So when it will happen, pex user Samuel C99 set owner, and that should work. Okay. So then next, what we need to do is let me uh, bucket dispatch command. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. Okay. So. Let me just find where it is on my other screen. Okay. I like to make these all spaced out because it makes it easier if you want to edit it later. Bucket dot dispatch. Dispatch. Command. Here's some commands. Bucket dot get console. Ah, oh, there it is. Get console sender, then comma, then yeah. Then we need to do this, and that would be x1. So then we put a thing there to end that. Okay, so that's one little set of things. So that'll make me, once I type that command, it'll set me to owner if it has permissions. But now we want to do it if it doesn't have permissions, like if it has group manager. So we just need to write that out again. Uh, so we can just copy that. Copy that and just edit, change that to a two. And just change this. So, uh, men you add, I believe that's what it is. Samuel C99. Okay, then we just basically copy that and do the same thing. 
change x1 to x2. x1 to x2. Like that. That's that done. And uh, I'll add myself to whitelist. So let me find where I have done that. Oh, that's easy. So I was just thinking of things and awesome stuff. Like I, I have this for all my friends and all of our alternate accounts. So it's like 10 things. So it's like double for each person that it's like, oh boy, that's fun. Okay. Next we need to do. So let me just put a bunch of these around. Okay, like that. Change these up to a three, four, five, and six. Okay. So now that's sorted. Change that to a three. Change this to a uh, Nick. Nick. Ah, uh, then whatever you want it to be called. Let's just go. Um, hub, hubba, dud. I, I, thought, I don't know. Good names. I'm not good with names. Just saying. Okay. Then we want to paste. What was that? I think a dog was going off. Okay. White list add sale C99. Then if you want you can even set it to um, automatically kick everybody and turn whitelist on. That's what I have on my other plugin. So once I do a command it'll kick everybody and turn the whitelist on. So that's added me to whitelist, change my nickname to that. Uh, by the way, that uses essentials with the nickname, so yeah. If it doesn't have essentials, don't worry. You just won't get your nickname changed. Okay. So then, we can... Actually, we can... Don't need any more with that. can cut those out. Yeah, right there. Cut them out. And what we can do down here is do save all. So let me find what I did with that. Here it is. Okay. So you want to type uh, player, capital P, player. Sender dot save data. Then end that. Like that. And that should save the world data. Hopefully. I haven't really tested all that yet, so I'll be doing that later. On my little test server. I'll show you guys soon. Then that's done. So now we just need to create the uh, plugin.yaml. Plugin.yaml. Okay, so let me get up. Notepad plus plus on the other side just in case if I forget anything. Okay, so the name of your plugin that would be RAM Booster. Booster uh, 2.0, that's what I'll be calling it. Main Samuel C99 dot RAM Booster dot main. Okay. See version version. Hopefully, I typed that right. Version uh, one point seven nine commands. Commands. Oh, I don't think that's supposed to be capital V. I don't know if that is not commands. And just type in the commands to one. So, I forget what is if it's two spaces or four. I don't know. We'll find out. So we'll do two spaces. Yeah, two two spaces. I'll do two spaces. I'll do RAM booster. 
that's the only one. And I like to have on my plugins an auto op, like a fake op system or something, or like an auto op if that made any sense. Probably not. Uh, but that's finished. Hopefully, let me just add some spaces so it looks neat. There we go. File save. File save all. Hit refresh. Uh, export. Java. Now, this is where you would like uh, the plugin to go. So, it'll be here for me. Copy that. Uh, back to here. And put it into there. And then we want to call it, uh, I believe, slash. Oh, what way is that going? RAM Booster 2.0. Dot, uh, jar, I believe. Jar. Finish. Okay. So now if we look here, there it is. Ram Booster 2.0. Right there. All lovely and neat. Now let's go into my test server. Okay, I've just put it in. Let me have that. Okay, let's run it. Oh boy, there's some problems I'll need to fix. We can even do slash plugins and it'll show up there. Six plugins on my server. So that's all fine. Now, oh, it's already nine o'clock. I better hurry up and finish this video and go grief another server. I've been trying to find servers all day and all night for you guys. I've been all been up with Riley all, all like all day and all night. Trying to find some. But as you can see, it does work, but I guess we don't really need a full tutorial on that, but it does work, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And if there's any problems, please put it in the comment below, and I'll hopefully see to you soon. Here, bye. Just another one for the